Use this quick snap play down in the red zone to get easy touchdowns against zone coverage. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to talk about a red zone play that you can use uh, against a guy that runs a lot of zone coverage. More popular coverage is down in the red zone, our zones, uh, either cover four, cover two, cover three. Uh, a lot of people use a lot of hard flats to go ahead and defend against uh, basically any, any kind of underneath, underneath routes and force your opponent to uh, throw into the red zone. What's great about this you're going to play is that it's a quick snap play, it's a quick read play, and your opponent's going to have to use it to be able to take it away, but it's a good play to go ahead and do as a quick, as a quick uh, no huddle play from a run play, and then no huddle into this snap the ball and throw the ball and get an easy touchdown. So this is out of the Chiefs gun trio uh, week. You can find a verticals concept like this with flat, with three wide receivers in pretty much any playbook. But I want to show you why this particular play is special and why it's so great. A gun trio offset week. Uh, what's cool about this figure formation is that it does have an RPO bubble read, which you can throw into, into your scheme. Uh, but this is a quick audible that actually you can go ahead and use and throw against your opponent. Now we're going to go against cover two coverages. And basically our read is going to be the inside wide receivers, Hill and Watkins. There's going to be your reads, and we're going to throw to either one of those two guys. Now, a lot of times what happens, the mid read is not going to play that seam, and that should be wide open for an easy completion right down the middle. So let's just go ahead and watch it. Once again, the defender actually gets out of position. You're just going to go ahead and pass lead off to the left to try to wait from that, stay away from that middle lead, uh, middle read, and go from there. So let's go ahead and see if anybody falls up. No. Nope. So basically, that middle read doesn't even play that uh, over the middle with cover two. So that's what's great about this this, this play. So uh, if your opponent is using that guy, he's going to have to use that route, and that should allow you to go and attack your opponent on the opposite side uh, with the tight end. So what you could do is if, you, if he's using the middle white linebacker, you just streak up the uh, streak up the tight end, and that's going to give you an opportunity to go and hit him with both sides. So that's going to you're, you're going to kind of pick your poison against cover two, but this is going to essentially blow up cover two for you uh, with the seam routes. Now against random cover threes, pretty much the same look. You're going to go ahead and look to the seam. The cover three covers this, makes it a little bit of a tighter passing lane. And if a defender actually floats in the seam of your inside wide receiver, you just go to the, the second wide receiver on the inside. Now, if you've got a guy that floats in that route, uh, the next route is going to be this back route right here that you can actually pop. So this is what my read is. If I see a defender float up in this area right here, uh, and, yeah, I could have still thrown that. My next read historically is going to be this route right here, and he's going to be... Um, naked in the back side. He should be able to go ahead and keep his feet in bounds and get you an easy touchdown completion. As you get closer to the red zone, that route is going to be a little bit harder to do that. So if you're out like six yards or so, you can get away with that route. Now, a lot of players down in the red zone, they're going to do hard flats. They're going to do uh, basically uh, a cover four coverage. And as you can see, uh, the passing lane might get, you still be able to get that passing lane off, uh, but it gets a little bit tighter. Uh, the way this play works is that this route right here will actually get separation. And you'll be able to go and pop that. The thing that I've discovered too is that if you go ahead and put your outside receiver on the fade route, a lot of time those deep blues don't play that correctly, and you can actually hit a sideline pass lead to actually get your get the ball in your red zone. So you can see that six yards out, and the defender doesn't play it. So this is a really easy play to go ahead and use to get easy co touchdown completions down in the red zone. Um, it's good, I think, really in conjunction if you're using a running attack in conjunction with other plays, just to go ahead and keep them guessing. Um, so he's going to have to kind of decide on how he wants to play his coverage. So, guys, uh, this is going to be a play I'll be using uh, with this Kansas City Chiefs playbook. But once again, my subscribers, thank you for support, guys. I'll be rolling out some more uh, tips and videos. If you do like this stuff, make, your, make sure you smash that like button. I'll be rolling out more stuff for you. Until next time.